Hey, welcome to Two Minutes Pi. Today, we're unraveling the mystery behind the Global Interpreter Lock, or as we affectionately call it, the GIL. So, what's this GIL thing? It stands for Global Interpreter Lock, and simply put, it's a rule that says only one thread can execute Python bytecode at a time. What effect does GIL have? The GIL in Python affects the concurrent execution of threads within a single process, limiting the potential benefits of multi-threading on multi-core systems and particularly impacting CPU-bound tasks that involve heavy computation, such as intense calculations or sorting a large amount of data. But how does it affect threads in Python? Picture this. You have a multi-lane highway representing your CPU cores, but due to the GIL, only one car, which represents a thread, can zoom down the road at a time. So, even if you have multiple threads, they can't truly parallelize Python bytecode execution. Let's see an example. I've got a simple Python script to show you how it can mess with the performance of our multi-threaded code. First up, we've got a function called square underscore numbers, which essentially performs a computational task calculating the sum of squares. In example one, we're launching two threads almost simultaneously without much consideration for the global interpreter lock. After finishing the thread execution, we measure the execution time using the time module and print out the result. Now we have another example, example two, in which we introduce a bit of GIL consideration. We start the first thread, wait for it to finish, and then start the second thread. This allows one thread to complete its execution before the other begins mitigating some of the GIL-related performance issues. After running the whole script, you can see the results flashing on the screen. So, what happens? Example 2 takes a bit longer. This waiting game is all thanks to our friend the global interpreter lock, like it's saying, hey, only one task at a time is allowed. All right, keep in mind that these results may vary due to a variety of factors, as we are simply attempting to replicate GIL's impact on the process by delaying thread execution. Okay, now let's move on. All right. Does it prevent concurrency? Yes and no. While it limits the parallel execution of threads, there are ways to achieve concurrency in Python. You can use multi-processing, where each process gets its Python interpreter and its own GIL, or explore asynchronous programming for tasks that involve waiting, like I.O. operations. So there you have it, the global interpreter lock in a nutshell. Thanks for tuning in. That's all for now. And as always, keep coding.